What's one that right off the bat looks gnarly to somebody? 28. 28. All right. Nice. Definitive. I like that. Oh, you got me started right away on a complex list. Okay, great. Let's knock this out. Okay. The meeting included Jack, a CTU agent, Janet, a security chief, and the best analyst in the country. Um, yeah. Sorry, because I couldn't tell if, um, like, Jack right. is the CTU. Right, right, right. So, let's start at the beginning. How many people are at the meeting? Four. Let's, let's, how many people could possibly at the meeting? What's the max number of people who could be at the meeting? Well, first of all, there's Jack, right? That's one person. A CTU agent, that could be a completely different person. Janet, the security chief, and the best analyst in the country. There could be five, but we don't know because, I don't know, Jack might be a CTU agent, Janet might be the security chief, Janet might be the security chief, and the, there might only be two people at the meeting. <laughs> There's only two names. We know there can't be fewer than two because we named two specific objects here. But there could be anywhere from two to five people. That's confusing. So here's how you can clarify that situation. Two options. First option is show someone that this is a simple list. The way you do that <coughs> is you put a comma right there. Okay. Essay writing you don't put a comma before the final end in a list. That's because essay writers like to be all creative and leave people guessing. Technical writing, practical workplace writing, you want to be more clear than clear could possibly be. Here's what you do with a list. You put a comma between every item in the list, including a comma before the final end. Okay. So if I put a comma there, here's what I'm saying to my reader. I'm a technical writer. Therefore, I follow the technical writing grammar rule of putting a comma between everything on a list. If you want to know how many people were at the meeting, just count the commas and add one. One comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, plus one, five people at the meeting. <coughs> there you go. Okay. So that's one way to fix it. And your explanation for that would be, I fixed it because I put a comma between every item. Yeah. Generally not. I thought that was just like everyday writing. So whenever you were saying Yeah, everyday writing, essay writing. So yeah. well like it's the three you told us about clear up eighty percent. So when it says independent, common conjunction, independent, mm -hmm. can we do independent conjunction independent? No. Not for technical writing, workplace writing, grammatically correct writing. Again, everyday writing, and actually in everyday writing where that usually comes out is if when people use because as the conjunction, oftentimes in everyday writing and essay writing and short story writing, if you're writing for the New Yorker, you'll leave out the comma because because is because because is considered such a strong conjunction, you know. But if you want to be precisely grammatically correct for technical writing, following all the rules for complete clarity, because it's just another conjunction, you still have a comma in front of it if you're using it to combine two independent clauses. And so again, same thing here. So for a simple, and this is called a simple list because it's simply five things that I'm separating with commas, right? And so the rule for simple list punctuation is just put a comma in between everything, even the final and then that way it makes it simple for the reader. If the reader wants to know how many people were at the meeting, they just count the commas and add one. There you go. However, if you want to make what's called a complex list, then you need more complex punctuation. And here's the thing. Let's imagine that Jack is a CTU agent. And Janet is the security chief. And this is a three-person meeting. Jack is in the meeting, Janet is in the meeting, and the best analyst in the country is in the meeting. Okay. 
This is a complex list because it combines things with qualities. I'm saying Jack is in the meeting and I'm throwing in some extra information about Jack. This is a quality that Jack has. Jack is a CTU agent. I'm saying that Janet is in the meeting and I'm throwing in some extra information about a quality of Janet. Janet is the security chief. I'm mentioning that in the list. So it, it's a complex list because it's not just naming things, it's also talking about extra information about those things. Okay? Here's how you deal with that. you put a semicolon in between the things. <coughs> you put a comma in between the item and its quality. Okay, here's how it looks. If there are three people at this meeting, you show it this way. How many people are at the meeting? There must be three because there are two semicolons. Just count the semicolons and add them on. Okay. What is Jack? Jack is a CTU agent. I know that because Jack is separated from that phrase by simple comma. Who is Janet? Janet is the security chief. I know that because Janet is separated from that clause, that phrase, that group of words by just a simple comma. And the best analyst in the country, well, that's the third person at the meeting. There you go. Okay. You could also break this up differently, again, using, like you could say, Jack. If you did that, semicolon, semicolon, comma, semicolon, well, now how many people are at the meeting? There must be four. One, two, three, semicolons, plus one, that's four, right? There's Jack whoever the hell that is. A CTU agent was there, whoever the hell that was. Janet, who is the security chief, and there was a fourth person at the meeting, the best analyst in the country. Or you could also break it up differently, but the idea is that if you have a complex list where you are listing not just things, but some of their qualities too, you need to use semicolons to punctuate the list. Otherwise, there's no way to make it clear. Okay? Fair explanation would be well, I mean, you could do this. I mean, if you just if you just fix it this way, the explanation would be it's right that there are four people. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty clear that you know what you're doing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Most of these grammar worksheet items, when I ask for like, could you give me an explanation of what's going on? You don't need to write an essay. You can just do that. There are four people. Boom. There you go. Okay. 